Good day, and welcome to Our Lady, Queen of Peace. This is the weekend of the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today, we gather around the table of the Lord in prayer. The word, Eucharist, literally translated, means thanksgiving. Let us gather our hearts in thanksgiving for the opportunity to pray together today. Our presider today is our pastor, Monsignor Ken Fiedler. Today's Mass is being offered for Sister Jean Hassenberg. Our gathering song is All the Ends of the Earth. We are so glad you are here.
Let us pray. Bear grace, O oh Lord, we pray. At all times, go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Our first reading is a reading of hope and this point in time in history. My name is Nee Hope. There's so much going on in our lives. Isaiah writes to a people who have lost hope to promise them a better tomorrow. The image of a mountain is used three times. A mountain for people who live in a desert, the dwelling place of God. And I quote, On this mountain, Lord provide for all people. All peoples. God's love extends everyone. Nobody has a monopoly on God's love. Because I'm saying this mountain will destroy death forever. He'll wipe away every tear from their face. Remove the reproach of the people, meaning forgive their sins. A reading of hope that God dwells with us. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face, the reproach of his people. He will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord.
staff that give me courage. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus again replies, spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables saying, kingdom of heaven may be like a king 
who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent out other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I prepared my banquet. My calves and fatted cattle are killed. Everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The last raid laid hands on the servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged, sent his troops to destroy those murderers and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready. Those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads. Invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets, gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. The Gospel of the Lord. I've been going to bed. Most of you have been to a few wedding receptions in your lifetime. I can tell you very honestly, I've been to a few more than you have in all my years as a priest. Always kind of fun. Some are very elegant, some are simple. The fun part is just getting together and visiting and celebrating with people. Since COVID-19, wedding receptions have all changed, have they not? By the way, I'm thankful to God I've never had to plan a wedding reception. I wouldn't know where to begin. Bride and grooms tell me how stressful it can be. Family issues, friend issues, venues, what to eat, what kind of a band, what music, flower arrangement goes on and on. But since COVID-19, weddings have changed. I've had quite a few weddings since March. And the struggles bride and grooms go through to make all the changes and what they hoped would have been a very beautiful day there were one couple. They had planned a beautiful wedding, 250 guests. They ended up with the immediate family in this church, their cookout in their backyard. Another one that planned their wedding for last March, thinking COVID would be over with by October, moved their wedding. And then, of course, they had to change it again and had a very simple wedding. They were going to invite the immediate family out for dinner afterwards. The restaurant closed down. They had nothing. But I have reminded couples all the weddings they've had in the last few months that if they, out of love, can survive this, they can survive anything life's going to throw at them. Sometimes we just adjust to what God wants and has in store for us. I bring it all up because the gospel today is Jesus' parable about a wedding feast. People would have understood that image in biblical times, was a little different. It was the groom's parents that put on the party. If you could afford it, you'd invite the whole village. And the king invites everyone to his son's wedding. But wait, they refused to come, found excuses. Finally, he sends out his servants, invites everyone, the good and the bad. Think about that. It's the image of God walking us all. Oh, we need to change to enter that kingdom, to do what is right. But God's invitation is there for you, for me, for everyone. God wants us to be at the banquet feast of heaven. May we be open to God's plan in our lives, in Paul's words, that God will provide what we need. May we all day, all one day, come together, the banquet feast of heaven. Let's together renew our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. Rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son, with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. So offer our prayers to our loving God. For the church, that we may welcome all who approach with sincere hearts, be a model of acceptance and hospitality to all who seek refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who feel unaccepted or unworthy due to their circumstances, hardships, or identity, that they may always realize God's inclusion invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a growing respect in society for all human life, from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For indigenous people around the globe, including those in our sister parish, Chiapas, especially those who have suffered generations of rejection, mistreatment, that they may be treated with respect and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are homebound or suffering from illness or injury and cannot join us at this feast, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Rosella Barnes, Trudy Flanagan, and Jane Lindsay, may they enjoy eternal rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayers. Prayers we just mentioned, prayers in our hearts. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sister and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise of the Lord in his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. Christ's death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you. As without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May Mary be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sarah's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of you shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, I know will understand. You shall see the face. 
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty, most humble old Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most sacred body and blood of your son, so you'll make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Next weekend, October 17th and 18th, the big truck will be back in our parking lot. We will be collecting for this Catholic Multicultural Center food and past personal care items, as well as for St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store and Pantry. Paper and plastic bags are available in the gathering space. Thank you for your continued support from both organizations. We also are still looking for a few more volunteers to help. See the bulletin for details. We will be selling a small amount of cinnamon bread from the mound next weekend. Proceeds will benefit our summer mission trips. See the bulletin for information on placing a bread order. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go forth to love and to serve the Lord. Oh.